G'day, Dylan O'Donnell here from the Byron Bay Observatory. If you're new to this channel, I take photos of space, deep space from my backyard. And I do this by converting all of my family's disposable income into telescopes and cameras and other sorts of hardware and software that I need to reveal the unseen reaches of space. And I do all this from my backyard here in Byron Bay, Australia, where hot Instagram models and hipsters compete to out boho each other on the Byron Bay hashtag, pretending they can actually afford to live here. But every now and then, between the unrelenting torrent of bikinis and ripped abs, sunrises and dream catchers, you'll find me and my photos of space, breaking through the skin deep faux spirituality of the Byron Bay hashtag with a deep exposure of the universe to remind them all that none of it really matters. And when the earth is slowly consumed by the entropic solar system and everyone is dead, nobody will be around to notice that they took a selfie near Matt Damon's beachside mansion. And today I can finally reveal a new project. Long story short, Intel have sent me a HP X360 Spectre laptop, one of the few upper echelon classes of laptops that actually get certified with the Intel Evo certification. That means it's passed over 100 real world tests, which means an Intel Evo certified laptop is gonna be one of the best you can get. But the best thing is they gave me this and said, be creative. And not only that, I get to be creative with one of the coolest band members in Australia. Have you ever heard of a little band called Polaris? Yes, that Polaris. And I get to work with Rick. Astronomy, Intel Evo, and metal. Am I up for this? I was born for this. Well, it's almost time for me to become a creative genius and just uh, spend all my time doing creative stuff. But before that, breaking news, there's a lunar eclipse tonight. So I'm gonna try and stream the whole event for the world to see with just this. This will be using a standard Wi-Fi connection and I won't plug it into power, so we'll be running on batteries all night. It's a long, multiple hour event. Let's see how we go. All right, we have 49 people watching the stream. Everything is coming from the laptop. There are now 237 people. There we go. 300, 500 people. There are 642 people watching. That's insane. 800 people. Please just tell me in the chat where you're from again. Poland, France, UK, South Africa, Germany. Oh, there it goes. We broke in the chat. 900 viewers. Thank you for a thousand people on stream. I cannot believe it. We've been streaming the full live lunar eclipse and this laptop has just ate it up the whole time. Well, that was definitely the event of the year for us Australian astronomers. And I broadcast the whole event over several hours just using the laptop, not plugged in over standard Wi-Fi, and it didn't drop a beat. I watched the replay this morning and it is smooth as butter. A few hours later I had 50,000 views on that video. There was over a thousand concurrent viewers during the peak and the stream was such high quality it was rebroadcast by the European Space Agency for their worldwide live stream. I have to reiterate I couldn't have done this with my existing computer setup. I could only do this because the laptop had enough processing power to handle the visuals coming in from the camera and the output through the network at the same time. So I'm looking forward to see what I can do with it next. I can't believe I'm talking to Rick from Polaris. We've been put together for this like collaboration, which I think is just incredible. Is there an astronomer in your band? And is that why your band is named after the North Star? No, there's no astronomer. There's no, there's no higher thinking. It was just, uh, I'll tell you what, it was the first name that came out where someone said Polaris. I think it was Daniel said Polaris. And it was the first one where everyone was like, hmm, instead of being like, no, no. I mean, I'm usually the guy at the desk when it comes to pre-pro and like recording and writing and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm just at the moment getting everything I possibly can installed and up and running so I can make some tunes. But as far as like a, a collab, I guess it's like a, like, what are we going for? Obviously I'm a metal guy, so what are you thinking? I can definitely send you lots of visuals, inspiring images and footage. I can also speak to things like uh, sounds that we can use, the sounds of planets, the wind that's been recorded on other planets, the flux from stars, that sort of stuff, which might all work. I'm wondering if maybe we shouldn't join forces and basically make a really cool space metal video song thing. Yeah, that sounds pretty sweet. I mean, usually every single time I'm writing a song, it's like, oh, you know, keep it to guitars, keep it kind of grounded, but like, 
just thinking about that is like kind of sick because it's just kind of the reins are off. It's like, I'm not writing a Polaris song, I'm writing a song for space. There is a kind of like democratization of music now in that anyone with a laptop can do very high quality work from home as well. I know that's true with astronomy and with being able to do stuff that professional observatories can do with equipment at home. Is that true for audio as well? Oh, definitely. Like uh, just over the past couple of years, it, it's crazy to listen to like the pre-pros and demos that we we're doing, you know, three years ago because they sounded like a tin can and like a, a crappy guitar through a, you know, iPhone speaker, something like that. But, um, but now it's like, yeah, I, I, I go back and forth with some mates who do like professional recording down in Melbourne and they give me tips and, just from where it's where it is to where it is now, it's like anyone can have a professional grade recording studio, you know, in their backpack on the road. So it's nuts. I'm I'm really keen to like actually finally have a laptop that's worth a worth a penny and you know actually be able to kind of push it and see where I can get. In order to further my my quest to become the coolest dad ever, is it possible to sneak me into a Polara show on this sold out tour? Yeah, well, you're up at Byron, right? Yeah. So what's the closest? Um, I think you guys are playing at Cool and Gatta, is that right? Yes, yes we are. Okay, yeah, that'll be fine, because <laughs> I know very few people up there, so you're, yes. you are number one in, in line. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for uh, spending some time to talk to me. I'm really excited on getting to work on this little project. I'm going to come up with some cool footage and imagery we can use, and uh, I'll see you soon in Byron Bay. Yeah, look forward to it, man.